November is National Comedy Month here in America, and as you guys may know, I do some part-time comedy on the side. I do random appearances at little comedy clubs here in Philadelphia, and I put together a set of jokes that I tell, and I've been telling a number of jokes for years now, and I've honed down to you guys here, um, you guys that aren't able to see my comedy shows or anything like that. Um, I put together the five greatest jokes from my stand-up routines. Uh, these are all original jokes. These are jokes you, you absolutely have never heard anywhere else before because I've created them myself. And I just wanted to share them here because, like I said, a lot of you guys might not be able to make it out to one of my comedy shows, so I figured I'd tell them here for you guys. So, you know, you know don't have to pay the door to see it or anything like that. I just give it to you guys for free. Anyways. Um, if you guys like these jokes, I can make uh, more compilation videos like this in the future. Um, you know, just putting together the, the top jokes for my stand-up routines. Anyway, let me just go ahead and tell you the first joke here. You can feel free to tell me how much you laughed at these. And, you know, please, if you're watching this while you're driving or listening to this, please pull over because you're gonna just going to laugh your ass off and I don't want to be responsible for, you know, you hitting a telephone pole or anything. Anyway, first joke. Guy tells his wife he's, he's, he's a really, really smart guy. Like, he's a graduate from MIT and everything. He has actually figured out a way to win the Powerball lottery. And he tells his wife about it. He has it all set up. He commits his plan into, into progress. And he puts forth, gets that winning lottery ticket, buys it, puts it on the fridge, and says, Tomorrow, wife, we will be millionaires. They are so fucking stoked that they just they, they just do everything they ever wanted to. The husband's like, you know what? Let's, let's burn the house to the ground because we'll buy another one tomorrow. So they burn a house to the their, their house to the ground. They piss on the ashes. They're just they're just laughing it up. They're like, Shh, we're gonna have ten mansions by tomorrow. Go out to Vegas. They 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 took the last of their money and just just bet it on red and ah fuck it landed on black. But they're like, ha, who cares? This will be chump change by tomorrow. So. They take whatever last money they have in their wallet, they get a hotel room there in Vegas, and they're sitting there, and they're watching the Powerball drawing that night, and they got the little ticket in their hand, and the husband's like, get ready, because we're about to be filthy fucking rich, and they don't get a single one of the numbers right, and the wife is like, what the fuck just happened, and he's like, my bad! Get it? Their lives are ruined. They they wasted all their money. They burned their house to the ground. <laughs> that's that's actually not that funny. That's pretty sad. Dude. They lost everything. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right. You know what? I'm sorry. All right, maybe that first one wasn't as funny as I thought it was. Anyway, um, thinking about it with a clearer conscience today, you know, that's just that is pretty sad. Anyway, I'm gonna go with an old stable knock knock joke. Anyway, um, since New Dog can't talk to me here in the joke and he's dead at my feet, I'll, I'll do the joke as two people here. Okay, here we go. This is one you can tell your friends. It's hilarious. All right? Knock, knock. Who's there? Helen Keller. Helen Keller. Wait a second. If it's Helen Keller at the door and Helen Keller is, is blind and deaf, how did, how did she hear the guy say who's there? That doesn't make any sense. That, I, I don't. I, I never realized this until now, but how does she hear the guy say who's there? It doesn't make any sense. I, you know, I'm not even finishing this joke. I'm sorry. I just, I, <sighs> fucking hell. Anyways, all right, all right. I'm sorry. All right. I, for whatever reason, these two were, were two of my better jokes, but they're not making any sense today. Um, I'm going to go to the third joke. This is a good one. This is, oh, this is one a lot of guys out there can relate to, okay? Because a guy is walking his dog in the dog park sees a real hot girl walking her little poodle. It's like a, like a hot summer day. She's some like, you know, hot little Latina piece of ass and short shorts and a tank top. And that guy's like, damn, I'm going to make a move in on her. I want me a piece of that, if you know what I mean, guys. Anyway, walks up to the girl and she's like, he's, he's like, hey, baby, I haven't seen you here. And she's like, yeah, you know, I've, I come here with my poodle every now and then. So the guy just cuts the chase and he goes to her. You know, why don't we just go back to your place and lay down and kick it doggy style, if you know what I mean. And she's like, what, you want to lay down on the bed and we'll just lick our balls? And the guy's like, you have balls? 
And she's like, yep. Oh, oh, that's disgusting. Oh, hot, fuck, ow. It's like, wow. Like a hot ass girl and she ends up having testicles? Oh, I, for some reason I remember that joke being funnier, but that's pretty disgusting. You, you find a hot girl and you find out she has balls? Fuck. Oh. Alright, alright, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disgust you. I, 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 for some reason I thought that joke was a lot better. Alright, joke number four. I promise this is going to have an absolute punchline. It's going to be an absolute joke, and it's something you guys have never heard before. All right. Guy goes out. He's real down in his luck, and he's just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to start robbing banks for a living. You know what? The government's taking money from me. I'm going to take money back from the government. You know, he's like, oh, he's all upset that he has to pay taxes and shit. Anyway, so he gets his 12-gauge shotgun out, puts on a ski mask, goes out of his car. He's like, fuck it. I'm going to rob every bank in this town. Gets out of his car, rips the door open, goes up to the counter, and he goes, Stick him up! This is a bank robbery! And the lady behind the counter goes, Sir, this is a police station. And the bank robber goes, Well then, police, give me the money! <laughs> I get it? Instead of saying, Please give me the money, he said, Police, give me the money! Told you'd have a punchline and it's a joke you never heard. Fuck. Alright, you know what? I saved the best one for last. Like, you guys are gonna be like, well, those first four suck, but you know what? You saved it with the fifth joke, Archfiend. I always come through in the end. Oh, that's what she said. <laughs> She's never said that. Anyway, joke number five, alright? This one, uh, it's gonna relate to everyone. This is, this is like an international, world-renowned caliber joke. All right, you can tell this in any corner of the world and they'll be able to laugh at it. All right, Pope, he's a little thirsty on this evening, walks into a bar. Everyone at the bar is like, oh my God, that's, that's the Pope. And like the bartender's like, holy shit, the Pope is in my bar. Oh my God, it's um, Pope, whatever the, the fuck his name is, Leviticus, Decimus, Meridius, the fifth, whatever the, I don't know what the fucking Pope's name is. Anyway, the Leviticus, the Pope, walks up to the bar and he says, Bartender, give me a scotch on the rocks. And the bartender's like, oh, yes, sir, Mr. Pope. Anything you, you want. And he's got the drink and he, he's, like, Can't, he's like, wow, Pope, I'm, I'm, I'm honored to, to see you in, the, in my bar here. And I, I had no idea that, you know, you, you, you part partook in drinking alcohol. This is great. I mean, I mean, do you do this all the time? Do you, do you plan on coming back here again? And the Pope's like, shut the fuck up and give me my drink. Oh, that Pope. I mean, you, you would have thought he'd be a much better conversationalist, but, you know, it turns out he's an asshole. <laughs> so, there you have it. Five completely original jokes that you can tell your family and friends, and you get to, you know, be a part of my, you know, stand-up routine here. Because, um, you know, if you can't see it live here, then I'll just make the videos here and just give it to you guys for free. So... Um, that's the five best jokes from my stand-up routine. Um, I hope you guys can come see me live sometime. I'll be performing at um, places with people and stuff. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed these jokes, please share your appreciation below. Um, rank these on a scale of 1 to 10 using only 8 or above as your ranking, please. So, if like, you know, you, like, completely died from how hilarious it was, put a 10. Or if you just thought it was, like, the best joke you've ever heard, make it an 8. So, you know, and then 9 would be, like, you you went into a coma or cardiac arrest and aren't quite dead yet from the jokes. So, 8 to 10 rating, thank you. And if you guys want to hear more of these in the future, I can, you know, I mean, it took me years to craft these five jokes, but in a few more years... I can have five more jokes here for you guys. So, everyone, um, enjoy National Comedy Month. And, everyone, have a fantastic day. Where's that fucking dissolve at? Oh, there it is. Oh, it burns! Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Why did it burn?